pray. Father in heaven, we thank you. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the power, all the praise, all the majesty and the dominion, the maker of the heavens and the earth and the seas, and everything that in them is unto you, we God that reveal mysteries to us. May our hearts indict a good matter. Take all the glory in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God forevermore. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. I want to thank the person of the Holy Spirit for the privilege to be here. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And also we want to thank our Father, Papa Joshua Aguila. Say we love you, Papa. We love you, Papa. Amen. 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 Say we love you, Papa. We love you, Papa. Praise God forevermore. Amen. Okay. All right. Uh, School of Metaphysics. Our School of Metaphysics means what? School beyond the natural. Amen. And so we're looking at this module titled what? Human Aura. Human Aura. Yes, sir. <coughs> now, we said the Human Aura is a, it's a very interesting operation. Um, I don't want to call it an atmosphere, but rather it can create an atmosphere. Or the kind of atmosphere one creates can give room for human aura to find expression. The the amazing thing here is no one really was born with a human aura per se. Ah, please don't misunderstand what we're about to tell you. If you notice, we said per se. Yeah. No one is really born with a human aura. Say it doesn't mean some people did not come with the human aura, but the way God did it, God created the human person and sent him to the world in such a way that he was bound, supposed to relate with people because human aura. Um, 
um, tribes in and how you relate with people and the motives behind that relationship, whether it is mutual, intimate, social, whatever. And the reason why we said no one was born with human aura is because the human aura is governed by two universal laws. the coming together of two universal laws. His world gives birth to human aura. His world gives birth to, to an aura. <coughs> and these two laws is one, law of homogeneity. And the law of homogeneity, we hope you know it, it has different aspects. It is a law that governs an action for a reaction. Yes. Amen. Now please answer yes, us. Sir. Please answer us. Yes, right? sir. Yes, sir. It's a law that is universal. It's something that you can't change. The second law is the law of auric interaction. I O N T I O N. Auric, or how do you pronounce it? Auric, auric interaction. Now, these two laws. The coming together of these two laws is what creates an aura. Now, whether it is for good or bad, it doesn't matter. What matters here is Two humans, human A, human B, coming together. They are interrelationship is what set these two laws in motion, the law of homogeneity and the law of auric interaction. And these laws are universal. They are under the universal laws. And when these two laws merge, which is set in motion by what two or more humans do, is what creates an aura. So you see why we really said, per se, no one is born with an aura, but to an extent, you are a product of an aura. Yes. That's why you didn't really need to be born with an aura. You are already a product of an aura. Because this is the reason why, if you, <coughs> a lot of preachers talk about generational patterns, generational causes and all that, where mm. aura is the reason why such thing can continue. Because we said an aura, we have said in our last class, is a strange force that chooses who your friends will be. Because this aura has its own intelligence to know 
which kinds of friends fit the aura you carry. This same aura decides the houses you will live in. Yes. The cars you will drive. Yes. The school you will go to. Yes. The jobs you will have. And this aura, aura also decides whether you ever succeed in life or fail. Yes, sir. Yes. Your aura does all of that. The question then becomes, how is an aura shared? That becomes the question. How, how can an aura be shared? You see, anything that can bring the five senses of a human into focus is an activity that gives room for an aura to be transmitted to another person. For instance, let's look at the five senses. Let's look at the five senses. What are the five senses? Smell. Let's start with sight. Okay. Sight, sight, smell, smell. taste, taste. 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 Touch. touch, yes, sir. Touch. Hearing. Hmm? Oh, yes. Hearing. 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 I think instead of touch, it's feeling. Huh? Yeah, feeling. Yeah, feeling. Yes. Well, you can see touch. No, well, let's put touch since we well, But how do you know somebody touched you? Is it not feelings? Yeah, yeah. feelings. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's put touch so that you can be comfortable with that. So we have sight, smell. What's the next? Taste. Taste. Please answer us now. It's here in the board. Please answer us. Read it. Number one. Sight, smell, taste, touch, and hearing. Read what is here. All right, I want to go. Sight, smell, taste, touch, and hearing. Please, I hope you, you are listening to what we're saying. I hope we're we're asking you a question. Yes, yes, or should we let, let's stop? No, 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 no. How is an aura transmitted or shared? Whatever, whatever activity can bring these five senses. Five senses into one primary focus. It could be an activity, it could be whatever. Whatever brings these five senses together into a harmony mm. to focus on something. Yes, sir. It is when a human, the human person, already has his five senses focused on something, that's when an aura can be shared. Mm. Because the universal laws, the law of homogeneity and the law of auric interaction, they will need to see a human engage in an activity that can bring the five senses into focus. Yes, then an aura can be transmitted from one person to the next. 
And that is why sex is a primary example. And it's the easiest way an aura can be transmitted. Because during this activity, sex, no matter who is engaged in it, these five senses are already involved. Mm. And the primary purpose for sex is to attain pleasure. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so, when these f five activities, these five senses, because you'll be touching the person, they'll be feeling each other. Yes. Yes. Please answer yes. us. Yes. Don't present, you're making a... Let's, I think we should not read the class today. No. Two people are having sex. Yes, they, yes, they, yes, they see each other. They are smelling. They are kissing. Taste. Touch. They are hearing each other. And so these five senses have been brought into focus. From the man. Or from the woman, yes, and or from the woman, woman, depending on who mm -hmm. the sex partner is. Yes, when those activity, when that activity, that sexual activity, is ongoing, yes, sir. because of the focus mm -hmm. of the five senses yes, from both parties, yes, each, yes, sir. which makes all ten senses. Yes. Yes. Five. Yes. They have already merged. Yes. Five from each. Yes. It has merged now. Yes. It is at that point that the two universal laws are activated. Mm. The law of homogeneity yes. and the law of auric yes. interaction. Because yes. yes. there's an interaction between yes. both of them. It's a yes. sexual interaction. Yes. When that is going on, then the law, the two universal laws, the law of homogeneity and the law of auric interaction can begin to operate yes, sir. where the, the aura of Mr. A cannot be trans shared 50-50 with Mrs. B. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the aura following Mrs. B can be transmitted 50-50 with Mr. A. Yes, sir. Okay. So you see, every person engaged in that activity always goes on with 100% of something. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if a lady has sexual intercourse with a fool, there will be an aura transmitted. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Every fool came from a family. That's true. So you see why we said um, you were not necessarily per se born with an aura. Yes. You were rather a product of an yes. aura. Yes. Because your father and mother, yes. they merged. Yes. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Please answer us. Yes, sir. So you are a product of an oh, aura. Yes. See? So you find out that because of that now, these two laws, the law of homogeneity, the law of auric interaction. Yes, sir. Can you see now how through that means mm -hmm. they decide who your friends are. Mm that you interact with. Mm. You are not drawn to a drop pusher because <laughs> no. the person looks nice. No, mm. it is your aura pulling the person. Wow. Yes, sir. Wow. Have you ever wondered why a holy Jesus could be meeting prostitutes? He met prostitutes, he met a lot of prostitutes. Mm. 
Why? Because in his generation, there were prostitutes. Yes. There's an aura yes. that made prostitutes drawn to yes. Jesus. That is why now somebody can come from a broke family. But because of who the person spirits probably once met in the past, or because of where the person is coming from, there have been a generation of successful people there. Yes. That order is likely to locate a member of that family. If a member of that family can cross path with a successful person, wow. then that thing, the, or the main aura, of success can link up yes. with another person. Yes, yes. Wow. So you see, it's stupid when you hear when you hear some people marry for the sake of compatibility. Yes. They don't even know what they are talking about. You know, one day, a lady, who, she's a friend, she's a good friend, we were just talking, and so she told me about one very successful man, big time, that she knows the man. We, we were just talking, and conversation led to that part. So she said, um, but I said, ah, he's a very good man. So she said, yeah, he is, but just that, blah, blah, she was just saying, but he said, can you imagine, one time he even was asking me to have sex with him and all that. But she was surprised when I said, so why didn't you have sex with him? She said, why should I? She even said, I I'm surprised. Oh, I see you can say that to me. I said, I'm just asking, why didn't you have sex with him? She said, no, I can't have sex with him. And for some reason, I just said, so is your life better now? Mm. Uh, did you understand? Yes, I'm not... Yes, is your life better now? Yes, sir. Because the lady that day we were talking, she was even asking, she came to ask me for money. And I gave her, but, you know, we're good friends. Well, so I said, but honestly, is your life better, really? Mm. She's still in the same condition she's in. With what we're saying now, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe yeah. if she had slept with him. Mm. Oh, success. Because the five senses would have been in focus yes. to attract success. Yes. Although the man may have shared in her own aura, right. yeah. but the man is too successful to be yes. broke. Yes. He's just too successful to be mm. broke. The man is just too successful to be broke. But of course, I knew she did not understand what I was trying to say. I didn't tell her anything about this. But I was just saying, but what if you had slept with him? Listen. You see this thing we call prophetic grace and all that? Yeah. People don't know how prophetic grace can be transmitted sometimes. People don't even know. Some even pray that God will make them have, give birth to a prophet. Yes. Yes. Yet you marry the man who is not interested in the things of God and expect your child to be a prophet. Mm. How? how? How would you be able to do that? Have you ever seen an orange tree give birth, produce mangoes, ex no. except the person is grafted? Yes. yes. Grafted. Yes, sir. That means you have to graft an orange branch to a mango tree. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, so we will just be, oh God, let me, let me, let me produce, let me, let my children, Father, use them mightily. Let them be prophets. Mm -hmm. You are just joking. You are not a serious person. Like I said to that lady, well, why, why, why didn't you sleep with him?
she actually later came back and said she thought about it. I said, now, nah, don't let it be that I'm the one who is telling you to go and sleep with him. Because I, she said, no, I thought about what you said. She said, but I really want to understand why you... I said, you've slept with many fools. And, and, and she, this person, she used to actually, she used to be my girlfriend. I said, you've slept with me too. We've had sex, and I said that respectfully. I said, you've slept with many fools. In, then, I said, including myself too. You understand? We were all fools. None of us... Which one now? Which of us there is able to help you? Apart from me, that God has changed my life. So I'm the one able to help you. This man, by all standard, was better than all of us. You know, sometimes a, a father can say to a lady, I think you should marry this person. Say, I can't marry him because I don't love him. The man says, marry this guy. He will change our story. But the lady said, no, I can't marry somebody, I can't, I don't love, I want to be somebody. <laughs> but sometimes even the parents that may not even ex be able to explain why they are saying so. Yeah, yes, yes. They, may, they, they can make the child feel like they are trading the child. Yes. But really, it, it is for this reason, oh. aura. Wow. Yes. Let an aura come into this household. Wow. The right one that will lift us. Yes, because somebody in this generation will be as successful as this person. Yes, yes. yes sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm. So I asked her, why didn't you sleep with him? Why didn't you sleep with him? As if your life is better. Meanwhile, you've been having sex with fools. Is it true to know? Yes, sir. Well, there are ladies like that. Yes, yes, sir. They are comfortable having sex with a fool. Yes, sir. But the one who will make their dreams come true, they say, I don't love, I don't. And they are faithful to fools. I've met a lady like that before. I say, You are faithful to a fool. The guy has been dating you for 17 years. He still has not proposed yet. One guy is ready to marry you, he's the son of a wealthy man. She said, but she can't imagine being with somebody else. And, and she was upset. She said she will not come to our church again because I said, it's okay. She's still there in union. The guy said she should wait for him to graduate from, medi from medical school before they marry. So where is he doing the medical school? Um, I think Guyana, one of these Western, oh, one of these yeah. Grenada. Yeah. You think he has not seen somebody there? He's seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I think somebody wants to marry you. Yeah. So you see, this thing is more than what? Compatibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, why are we telling you this? It is simply because there are two areas your aura can push you to. There are two things. An aura produces, there are two fruits. So the benevolent fruit and the melfic, M-E-M-A-L-E-F-I-C, melfic fruit, yes, sir. Yes, sir. which means bad occurrences. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Again, now this begins to give you clarity of why I said 
this lady was a fool that she did not have sex um, sex with that man because from more standard the man carried the benevolent fruit through sexual intercourse it would have been able to transfer a portion of that into her because she nothing She would have been able to push an aspect of the mephic fruit into him, but like we said, it wouldn't have done anything. Because the guy in his destiny, from what I've seen, in that guy's destiny, he was destined to be permanently successful. Remember we talked about the probable, the law of the operational cause. Yeah, we talked about the law of what? Uh -oh. What are you talking about? The five the ten operational codes. One of the operational codes, we talked about the law. Sorry, the hmm? double. We under the rules of destiny. We talked about the the pool of probability. Oh man, are you sure this class is? You we should continue with this thing. <laughs> pool of probability. Yes. Now you see that play now. Yes. You see that? Yes. So you see witches can thrive yes. on an aura. Yes. Yes. So you can be prayerful, but you can engage in an activity mm -hmm. that can make witches have access to an aura. Mm -hmm. Because under the pool of probability of destiny, we said you have the benevolent, benevolent and, benevolent. and Malevolent, yes. exactly. You see that. Thank you, sir. But we said there is also what you call under the benevolent. There is what you call partial and permanent. Yes. Mm. Partial mm. and permanent. And then the same thing too. Partial and permanent. Do you understand? Yes, there are some people under. If one is operating in their destiny, um, in their destiny, they were supposed to be permanently be on the malevolent aspect of their destiny. Mm -hmm. No matter what they do, even if they pray, give offerings, it will never change. Mm -hmm. Yes. Pasha can change through choices. This one, these people operating in the uh, permanent malevolent aspect of destiny, no matter the good choices they make, it will turn to it will turn to a tragedy. It will always result to a tragedy. When you see a man of God release a curse, there are elemental spirits that will push the person permanently into this place. When somebody is already permanently in this zone, no good thing will the person do. But someone under the permanent benevolent, even if they make bad choices, it will always turn out right. Aww. And that man that we were telling that lady, why didn't you sleep with him? He was in his destiny. He's there. Mm. So even if it, he made a poor choice to even have sex with her, things still would not have changed in his life mm. to, for him to go down. Rather, he would have been able to partially re release some aspect of what his benevolence into the lady's yes. life. Yes. Except the lady makes a terrible choice again, she will lose them. Because in her destiny, she's supposed to be permanently down. Yeah. People are not born to be permanently in the malevolent. It is just one choice the person made against a spirit, against someone that is favored by spirit, that can push the person into the permanent destiny. Many a times, uh, people, there are some people who have done me wrong that I have looked at and said, I need to curse this person. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, don't. Because anyone in this aspect, permanent malevolent, the children, the, the man they married is doomed. Yes, the children they will have, it is permanent. Yes. Yes. Except God by his mercy decide to change it. 
and particularly if witches are behind this, under the double slayer of destiny. Mm -hmm. uh, that means they have captured that order. So that means that they will always see that the two universal laws, the laws of homogeneity and auric interaction, always merge in such a way that the person will never be free. Because the person will always meet people within this corridor. So you can see a lady. That's why we said that lady was always meeting fools. And I used to be one in the past. God delivered me. But you see, there are some ladies like that. And you, you can, that's why you can see a beautiful lady. So, she, I mean, she's, she's somebody that was supposed to be for the top. Yes. It's befooling one fool. And she's spending her all. People like that. So you see why we said an aura is greater than DNA. Yes. yes. DNA is nothing. Yes. Because we're dealing with laws from the higher realms of existence, superimposing an atmosphere, an operation in the person's body. Because since the thing now has been injected into the person's body, the person carries it wherever they go. And whoever they interact with, it can rub off. Yeah. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So you can have somebody. That's why one must be careful who you call your best friend. Yes, sir. Careful who you call your best friend. Because a best friend from other friends, you give an extra attention to the person. That's true. That means the person deserves your focus. Yes, and you must, you must be careful. Because as you're doing that, there are things you... There are operations going on that you have no knowledge about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which is what we're telling you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but now, if this is how An aura can be shared. What do I need to do mm -hmm. to always ensure that my aura from the benefit that from, that my aura, which I can really see in my life, mm -hmm. produces benevolence? What do I need to do to ensure that 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 aura of benevolence? is not corrupted. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. This is the word. Pronounce it. Love. Love. Please answer. Pronounce Love. it. Love. Let's close. I don't say. <laughs> you must be honest in your relationship with someone. And where there is love, you must be truthful. If you want to have sex with someone, tell the person the truth. This is just sex I want to have. You don't make people do anything against their will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's love. Your intention is not to harm them. Mm -hmm. If it is strictly, and only you can tell. But... If your intention is this, you are likely to, not likely, you will. The malevolent aspect, the malefic fruit will surely be transferred to you. I was introduced to someone and I was talking to the person. But when I looked at the person, the person who introduced me to the person said, why are you not, you've not been talking with that person for a while. I said, yes. The person said, why? I said, my intentions towards her is not good. I said, she's a good person, but my intention towards her is not good. The person said, why would you say that? I said, that's the truth. 
I said, over time, I discovered my intentions towards her is no good. He said, what do you mean? I said, my intention, is, when I look at her, is just to have sex with her. So it's better I don't really relate with her. Because if I continue, knowing that this is already my intention towards her, I'm not saying she carry malefic fruit, no. I already be corrupting my benevolent fruit already. And then if the lady somehow somewhere has a malefic fruit, she will transfer it to me. And I can't blame her, but I cost it. People don't know. And that is why if you are in a relationship with someone and then the person says he is no longer interested, don't push it. Don't push it. As long as the person has already been truthful, he's already here. If you are trying to fight, say fight for the relationship, fight for it, you're already bringing yourself here. And this will activate this. And this now leads to depression, leads to other things. The person commits suicide. They want to blame the person who says it is because he said he's not interested. He didn't do anything. He told that truthfully. Why didn't he tell her from the beginning? He probably didn't even know. He probably thought, yeah, some of us have been there, where we thought we really liked this person. In the process of time, it's called, man, it's true, I'm deceiving myself. So you see, this thing is beyond understanding each other. I say, understand, understanding is necessary in the relationship of peace. So you see, even in a relationship, there are many things to look at. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Many things to look at. You can't say Melanie Trump does not share whatever that president carries, President Trump. You can't say so. And that is why, even if she tries to preach love and <laughs> preach kindness, yes. you, none of us can fall for it. Yes, for you to be with this person, yes, sir, that's true. That's true. you have been sharing in his whatever. And the guy doesn't even look like someone who is genuinely loving. <laughs> because greed is lost. Selfishness is lost. When it's all about you, it's lost. So they have, the melfic fruit has flourished. Amen. And that is why anyone who comes around them that associates with them becomes a victim. Things die, their careers die. Yes. Things, is the melfic fruit already working. And as they continue, even the benevolence will begin to, the benevolent fruits will begin to diminish. So you can see one successful family psh, run down. Do you understand what we said yes, so far? Yes, okay. Can we clean this now? So you see, when you hear <laughs> this is the reason why God has no hand in your success or your failure. Mm -hmm. Your choices. Ah. God said to Joshua mm -hmm. in Joshua chapter one, verse he said, This book of the law shall not depart from your Mount, but thou shalt meditate during day and night, and that, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, yes, sir. Yes, sir. and then thou shalt have good success.
Continued success. Continued success. Making your way prosperous, that means self producing prosperity. It is something that comes from you. Yes, sir. Joshua never knew he had it until the Lord told him. So, you see why you are the one responsible for how your life has turned out, what it will be, and what it will ever be. You are the one. Because the laws of homogeneity and auric interaction are just there. They respond to human interaction, don't they? They respond to human interaction, who you interact with. Now, when an aura is transmitted into a person, where does the aura go? Where does the aura go? There's what you call in the human body silver cord. Say it. Silver cord. Please answer now. Silver cord. Let's go to Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Let's read verses 6 to 7. All right, can somebody read? Or, or ever the silver cord be loose, or the golden bowl be broken. Start from verses, 10, uh, verses 5, so I can understand the context. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Also when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fears shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and desire shall fail. Because man goeth to his long home, and the mourners go about the tree, the streets. Or ever the street, the silver cord be loosed, or the golden bowl be broken, or the pitcher be broken at the fountain, or the will be broken at the cistern. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Okay. Now, here, he's talking about debt. The silver cord that you just, that King Solomon was talking about there, is what connects the body, say the body, the body, the body. body. to the soul. Mm. The silver cord is what ties the body to the soul. And once that silver cord is loosened, the soul will jump out of the body. And when the soul departs from the body, it results to what? Yeah. Death. Yeah. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Please answer now. Yes, sir. 
Okay. okay. So now, the aura is like a house that resides in the upper aspect of life's essence, in the subtle essence of life, called the Sifa code. That means when an aura, see, look at this image. Yes, sir. Body, soul. This is the, this is the Siva code. Yes, sir. Please answer now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. When the aura, when an aura is shared and it enters through this body, mm -hmm. through an activity, it goes straight to this Siva code and wrap itself around it. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it, com it now becomes what? A part of you, yes. a permanent aspect of yes. you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And as Christians, the prayers we pray does not touch the silver cord, does not tamper with the silver cord. And on the silver cord is where aura wraps itself. Mm. DNA is still within the confines of the body. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you see, an aura is powerful. Yes, sir. So, it might as well you have sexual intercourse with, mm. no doubt. But then, you, you, you don't have to see, you, you don't deceive yourself by seeing a nice car and say, because he drives a nice car, I think he's somebody I should have a sex with. You might see somebody who is just beginning to rise, mm -hmm. but you don't know the aura. Yes. It's, a, it's an invisible force yes, that surrounds you. And it comes out from the silver cord. But for this same aura to move through the body into somebody, into another person, the five senses must come in focus. Yes, then the two laws will pull the yes. silver will pull the aura and push it yes, into sir. the person that your five senses are focused on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sometimes it can happen through sight. Mm. Oh like Elisha. Elisha was told by Elijah, if you see when I'm taken away, yes. Yes, there was a strong focus wow. on it. Yes, wow. wow. mm. You know, our next class will continue. So you see, an aura is not a child's play at all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This thing is not a joke. Mm. So, but telling someone, pray for me whether Johnson is a person I should marry. Mm -hmm. Pray for me whether Priscilla or Cecilia is who I should marry. Before the prayer, get to know the person. Yes. Get to know the person. That's what we always tell people. Get to know the person. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You should be able to tell this guy has a future. Man. Mm -hmm. Or this lady has a future. Mm -hmm. She's not a pusher. Mm -hmm. yes, That's the men who know they will never go down again because of the kind of women they married. Mm -hmm. They just know. One time we were invited to come and sit through the quarry, and the lady said she knew who she was before she met the man. She was really doing well, this and that. And the man said, ever since he met her, he said, I said, both of you are both dry leaves. <laughs> both of you, spiritually, both of you are dry leaves. The reason why both of you even succeeded to where you people are is because you guys were living in peace until you started quarreling. If you would live in peace, you, because both of you were destined never to succeed. Mm. You are dry leaves. You are a dry leaf. She is a dry leaf. Mm. The man was trying to say, what do you mean? I said, remember what happened to you when they, before you were conceived? Mm. Remember? Your parents told you the story. I said, I you to remember. She said, yes. I said, both of you are dry leaves. Mm. But if you can, both of you set to now and be in peace, you can make, you can make a centipede progress, you know? 
a tortoise progress because people are they only make a tortoise progress. There are people they were destined to feed on leftovers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So imagine now if someone crossing path with that kind of person and auras are transferred. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Ah. Yes, sir. Ah. See? If you watch coming to America, that was what the guy was trying to communicate. His aura. Yes. The person he's supposed to be with is not in Zamunda. He's supposed yes. to be in America. Yes. Yes. And he was not going to a rich neighborhood. He knew. That's true. This, I need a poor neighborhood to yes. get the person. Wow. Then my aura will lift her. Oh. But he met someone who, in their own standard, was kind of successful. Yes. He didn't go for the downtrodden. No. Oh. He still in the successful person within a poor neighborhood. Yes. It's true, it's true. Well, you, you are broke. You are still managing one sister that is still broke. Oh. There's so much to learn in that movie. People don't yeah. know. It's true, sir. It's true. It's true. It's true. Talk to the Lord. Lord, change my aura. Lord, change my aura. Let my aura from this day forward. Let my aura Produce benevolent fruits. And may I meet people of my kind from this day forward. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You're hidden.